Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by allfreejewelrymaking.com and keepsitecrafts.net. Today we're going to be making this choker necklace with chain and pearl dangles. It's a popular look right now and as you'll see, very easy to achieve. So to make this necklace you'll need approximately 18 inches of chain. Um, this is the length that I'm using for a choker. I don't like them too tight around my neck. So anywhere from 16 to 18 inches is the size. You will also need 21 inches of chain for the dangles. And I'll tell you what to do with that in a moment. You'll need some jump rings. You'll need beads for your bead dangles. I've chosen these pearls that I've dyed. And if you'd like to know how to use RIT dye to dye your own pearls, be sure to check out my other video, which is the custom dyed pearl necklace. Um, if you like, you can also add some spacers. You'll need a clasp for your necklace and some head pins. I chose decorative head pins. So the first step is that you're going to separate this 21 inches of chain into nine lengths. You're going to do four two inch lengths, four two and a half inch lengths, and one three inch length. So here I've separated out the chain into four two inch lengths, four two and a half inch lengths, and one almost three inch length. If you're using the chunkier chain, it's a good idea to actually Make your first length and then count the number of lengths and just make each one that you want to match the same number. It saves a little aggravation. Um, okay, so next is to, to make your bead dangles. And since I have nine lengths of chain, I'll have ten pairs of bead dangles. And so I think I'll make the middle two longer and with bigger pearls. I'll make a pair like that and then make them kind of taper down in size. But you don't have to do that. You can design it however you like. You can have them all the same. You can have them all totally random. Whatever works for you. So I'm going to go ahead and make all these and I'll show you how to make loops on the top of these dangles once you have everything on there that you want. You go ahead and grasp the wire right above the last bead with a pair of chain nose pliers and then bend that wire at a 90 degree angle. Then you grab that bend with a pair of round nose pliers and you bend the wire up and over and around the round nose pliers and that'll be about as far as you can get before you have to reposition the pliers and then you can finish that loop. Next, use some close cut wire cutters and cut that wire right where it crosses itself. Use the flat part of your chain nose pliers to straighten out that loop. I think I needed to cut that a little bit further up. See how it's not being round? That just means you've got a little too much wire in the way. Cut a little bit more off. And now we have a nice round loop. So go ahead and repeat that process to make yourself 10 bead dangles. So I've gone ahead and made my 10 dangles and you can see them here alternating with my nine lengths of chain. The next step is to attach them to your chain choker. Now these links are about 3 eighths of an inch long, which is actually just about right for this necklace to use one um, either dangle or piece of chain per link. But you may have to adjust the spacing. You want to use a fairly chunky chain. You don't want to use something too fine. It will just be difficult. Um, but you may have to adjust the spacing. And you're simply going to attach each. You're going to first, I'll fold this in half and find my center link. Okay, right there. 
and then go ahead and open up a jump ring. And the way you do that is you position the split at 12 o'clock. Grab each side with a pair of chain nose pliers, push one t away from you, and pull one towards you to twist it open. And then I'm going to grab one end of my longest length of chain and just close it up nice and secure. And then go ahead and repeat to add your dangles. Now with chunky chain like this it actually matters. I don't want to put one dangle here and then the other one up here. So you'll have to pay attention that you put your dangles on the same side of your links of chain. So you just use jump rings and go ahead and connect them all and then connect your clasp with a jump ring and I'll come back and show you the results. So here it is, all of the dangles and lengths of chain attached to the choker chain for the necklace and then the lobster clasp attached with a jump ring. You really want to do this necklace in a shorter length. Um, it makes the, these hang down more nicely. I mean, you can try it in any length you want, but to get that effect where these hang down kind of straight, it, a choker length is good. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. Thanks so much for watching. Here's another look at our finished necklace. Please be sure to check out KeepsakeCraft.net for more jewelry, crafting, and sewing ideas and inspiration. Have a good one. Bye-bye.